Okay, so I have another stone setting tip here, and I'm going to be using the same uh, imitation ring that I used in the last videos. And so, what I see a lot of, and you can see them in the uh, pictures that, that are with this video, is that um, when people set a stone, they kind of have this idea that they need to have these big bulky prongs on top. Because a big prong, of course, in their mind, is going to hold the stone more secure. But really, what you want is you want that, that beautiful stone to be as beautiful as possible. And so to do that, you want to have a, a very small prong on the end. Uh, which, if you think about it, a small prong is not going to catch on things like a big one. And so... The first thing that needs to be done is, now I take, this is a an old barrette file, it's about seven inches, uh, gypsy go away, <laughs> uh, it's about seven inches, and it's, it's quite used, it's a number two, uh, and something that's really important is that the edge of this, especially on a brand new one, can be very sharp, and it can abrade the facet junctions on on even a sapphire or a ruby now it won't it won't happen on a diamond but uh, so when you get a file you need to take it down I would probably use a 220 a 400 even a 600 and I'd make the edge as smooth as possible on both sides of the file and also, it's, it's also nice if this part of the file uh, isn't too sharp as well. So then the next thing here is people get these really long prongs. So you need to go around the prong. You don't want to push down on the stone. You just want to follow around the prong. And so you'd want to do this to all four of your prongs on a four prong and of course all six on a six prong. And so once you've done that, then of course the top, and you always want to go towards the stone to take down the top so that uh, if you pull back you might actually catch the prong and bend it up. So. And then once, once you've gotten this part taken down, then the next thing you need to figure out is what size uh, cup burr to use. They come in various sizes. And I always try and pick something that is just a little bit bigger than the prong that's going to fit. And I can go around the prong without making a cut into the back and without running it across the stone. And just like the file, it's good that these be somewhat used, especially if you're working on a softer stone, so that you don't abrade your stone. Uh, one thing I left out is I have a, and you can't see it, but I have a little thimble I keep on my bench and I fill it with wintergreen oil. Uh, you might use a, a different burr lubricant, but I put the burr in there first, and then it cuts much better. And so if your cup burr is the right size, you're not going to make a mark across the back. Uh, it's not going to drag along the stone, and it's going to create a nice little ball to hold the stone in. So... Hopefully that uh, helps you out. I have a little brush too. I go like that and then I can get rid of the, um, the little filings. So anyways, that's uh, about it and, and I hope this helps you out. Thank you.